Hi everybody, it's Faye. I thought I would do a little pick a card for you today um, and it's going to be Is This Love? We have used the Romance Rangel Romance Rangel? Is that a mixture of rain, Angel and Romance? Sorry guys, my tongue's not working right. The Romance Angel cards by Doreen Virtue. There we go, I've eventually got that out. And I have the Gilded Tarot by um, Ciro Marchetti. I've got three tarot cards on top of the angel cards. So if you just want to pause your video and go for one, two or three. I'm assuming you've paused your video. Right, the first one for Is This Love? We have... And the romance angel card for that is Children. Your love life is being affected by children. So I'm taking from this card, this could be read a lot of ways, it could be you're already in a relationship with children and this is what is the, um, the main bond of, of the love, of the family unit, or you're maybe seeing somebody who has children and it's not as easy as maybe as you think it, can, it, it should be. The tarot cards that we have for this is we have the King of Swords, the Magician, and the Queen of Swords. Now that's amazing because you've got the King and Queen for the one, the one suit. And that right away tells me that it is a proper couple. This is a fa I feel this is a, a family situation. Um, don't have to be married but cohabiting because, you know, both the King and the Queen have turned up from the same suit. So I would say, yes, that this is, this is a relationship that's supposed to be. You either are now moving on to a stage where you would like to have children or you are just about to have a child. We have the Magician card here, which would tell me that it's a, a relationship that... Um, it's, it's a good relationship. You are on the same page because you have got all the elements. You've got your water, fire, earth. Um, you know, you've got all the elements there, air to work with. Both are working on the same page. Um, and these are definitely acting like a family unit. Or you certainly will be. If it's a case that you are um, not cohabiting at the moment, I think you soon will be. We're looking at this card, these cards. So num that's number one. So I would say whoever picked number one, then yes, this is a... This is a relationship that's supposed to be. So yes, it is love. Number two, we have... I don't know what that mark is. Oh, we've got passion. Allow your, your heart and soul to sing with joy. And the cards for that is the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the lover's card. I'm wondering with this guys what it says is this love. It could just be a really good relationship where the set the sex is good. It might not be um, love as such because with the ace of wands it's like a really it's a very passionate card. It's a, you know the ace of wands is very phallic. So this could be a relationship where the sex is fantastic, but we don't know if it's... Because I'm now looking at the Eight of Cups, and I don't know if there's been a, a point where you've thought about walking away, because it might not completely fulfil you in, in other areas of the relationship. Because... I mean, to allow your heart to sing with joy, this could be even an affair, guys, that you are um, contemplating on. But you are actually thinking about walking away from it. But... I always feel as well this could be a twin a, a twin flame relationship because we've got the lover's card here as well as the passion. And if you're on that journey, if you're on the twin flame journey, it's very, very difficult. It's highly passionate ha and very, very fiery. But we're never sure if one of one or other the divine masculine or the divine feminine is ever going to walk away. So I would say, is it love? Then if it is, if we are talking about twin flame, then yes, it is. But it's not your normal. It's not your normal relationship. If it's just regarding a 
karmic relationship, then looking at this, you definitely do have a great bond. It's very, very physical. But there, there is elements there that are maybe not quite as fulfilling. The passion could be great, but there could be other elements missing. You know, there's, you just maybe not have other things in common. I mean, there's still four cups standing here, but I think out of the bedroom, there has to be other elements that you need to kind of bring into this relationship. That's for number two. Those that pick number three, we have, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Looking promising, but what do we have with that? Right, I've just looked at the, these cards. We've got the Eight of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Sun card. Now, that's a great combination. Uh, by looking at number three, I think this is a relationship that's come in really quickly. I think this is a relatively new relationship. You've met this person really quickly. Um... I'm wondering as well if it's been either through work or even you've met somebody on a dating site or on the internet or something. Because it looks like there's been messages going, you know, there's been a lot of messages going through the air, which makes me think a lot of texting and things. Um, with a water sign, who Pisces uh, Scorpio Cancer. It doesn't have to be. I mean, it just could just be a really romantic person, or you, or you yourselves feeling romantic, feeling very, um, very much in love. I feel there's a lot of love going on here, um, and this person is the one, is the one for you because we've got the sun card here, and it's like, well, you know, when the sun card, the sun card never, even even in reverse, it's never anything negative. So I think those that have picked number three, yes, this is. Um, this is definitely a love relationship and it's been very fast moving and I always think when I see um, anything to do with the wands, especially in the Gilded Tarot, it, all, it always looks very fiery and very passionate. So I think those that pick number three, yes, this is the one for you. Right guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. If you want a personal reading, please um, just contact me at my email address facetracking1 at gmail.com um, and hope to see you soon.